Hi, I'm Steve with Garage Gurus. In today's tech tip, I'll be going through the process of degreeing a camshaft using the cam lift method at 50 thousandths of an inch. The parts necessary for this process, we need a crankshaft, a camshaft, a piston and rod in a number one cylinder, and a timing set with a straight up or zero position. For tools, you'll need a degree wheel, a piece of wire to make a pointer out of, a dial indicator to show piston travel, and a dial indicator adapted to show cam lobe lift for the type of cam being used. I'm using a special tool designed specifically for the purpose of reading cam lobe lift. This tool has several adapters to fit different lifter bore sizes, as well as plungers for flat tappet or roller tappet cams. I'll be using the dial indicator method for finding TDC or top dead center which is a very important first step. As you can see, the cam and crank gears are lined up dot to dot, which is the straight up position. Some gear sets are adjustable, either using additional keyways cut into crank gear, like this one here, or by using adjustable cam gears that use offset bushings or two-piece cam gears, which are adjustable. We'll start the process by moving the degree wheel until the piston comes up to top dead center and the indicator stops, then just starts to change direction. This is TDC or top dead center. Now we can set our degree wheel to zero or adjust our pointer to zero. Note every engine is different in the dwell or amount of time the piston stays at TDC based on the stroke and length of connecting rod you're using. Now we'll put a dial indicator on the intake cam lobe and start turning the degree wheel clockwise. First we'll check the intake cam opening event. When the indicator starts to move, we'll stop at 50 thousandths and record our number from the wheel. We're showing five degrees before TDC. On the spec card, it shows minus five degrees, so five degrees before TDC. Now we're going to look at the intake valve closing event. I'll turn the degree wheel until the indicator stops moving. Then I'll back up the wheel to 50 thousandths and read our number in black after bottom dead center. This is the intake closing event. We're right at about 29 or 30 degrees after bottom dead center. On the spec card, it shows the intake closes at 29 degrees after bottom dead center. So we're only one degree off, which is acceptable. Now we can do our math. We're gonna take our five degrees that was recorded earlier for our intake open event. We're gonna add our intake closed event at 29 degrees plus 180 degrees on the wheel, which equals 214 degrees. The intake valve is open for 214 degrees of crankshaft rotation. This is our duration number. Now we're gonna divide that number by two, which equals 107 degrees. This is our intake center line. This proves that our camshaft is ground correctly to match the card at 107 degree intake center line. You can do the same procedure for the exhaust events as well. I'm Steve with Garage Gurus. Thanks for watching. For more tech tips like these, be sure to subscribe to our channel.